This beautiful hand-drawn image was made in 1866 to demonstrate the construction of composite ships, ships that were made of both timber and iron. The drawing was made by Harry Cornish, Chief Ship Surveyor at the Lloyd's Register Foundation, a marine classification society dedicated to certifying the safety of ships. Harry's artistic expertise came to the fore in this remarkable period in which he lived and worked, when iron replaced timber, and then when steel replaced iron as the primary materials for ship construction. This drawing shows in detail a horizontal section of a ship's hull near the bow at the lower deck. This period was widely known as the Clipper Ship Era. The secret of their success was in their construction. Ships built from wood could not be much longer than 80 metres in length, and their timber frames took up a lot of valuable space. The clippers, however, were made with a composite hull of both wood and iron, so could be made much larger and stronger than previous traditional wooden ships. The strong iron frame made it possible to allow large masts to support a vast area of sail, giving the vessel a speed not previously attained. Powered by sail, the clipper ships became one of the greatest technological advances of the 19th century. A robust wrought iron frame to give the ship more size and space was clad with wood, often a rock elm below the waterline and teak above. A cladding of copper or brass sheathing for protection was also possible, something impractical for iron hulls due to bimetallic corrosion. But the clipper ship era was short-lived. The opening of the Suez Canal caused their demise and gave rise to all-metal steamships.